I am Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the Tyrant. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? What's with the blaster fire in the background? We've been boarded. The situation is bad. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. Let's get more specific about my pay. You'll get whatever I can give you. But not if we lose this ship. The board has initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the lock decks from the bridge, so Darth Tormen and his soldiers can retake control. I won't let you down. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't have asked. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. The Imperials aren't gonna save themselves. Never do. You must be the bounty hunter Captain Evelyn contacted. Thanks for the rescue. Once they killed the captain, we thought the fight was as good as done. I've had way tougher jobs. We aren't out of the fire yet. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown, but we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? Anyone stepping through that door gets blasted back out. Get those lower decks unsealed, ASAP. My lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I... he... The, the captain's dead, sir. My lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no. We were sur... Ouch. I have you to thank for a ship. Yeah, you're welcome. Have this ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. Their rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. A win's a win. We will not make martyrs. The people will see their heroes broken and their Republic fail them. There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the Rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. What's the Rebellion got to do with June Saros and the Supreme Chancellor? If Corellia is conquered, the Republic will send troops. If Corellia secedes, the Republic must rely on diplomacy. A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule, but not before June Saros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. Saros shows his face, I blow it off. When do we start? Immediately. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Krau. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the Tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. Let's get on with this bounty hunter. I have troops to deploy. Darth Tormund demands that I dispatch you to capture Chairman Harlan Fane of the Corellian Corporate Council. What's Tormund's interest in a corporate fat cat? Harlan Fane is the face of the Corporate Council. His presence at the treaty signing is vital to Darth Tormund's plans. Fane and the other representatives have locked themselves up in their council tower in defiance of Imperial rule. His exact location isn't known, 
but it is likely that he and the other senior representatives are holed up in the tower's upper executive offices. I imagine there's more than a few locked doors involved. Weapon emplacements, prototype droids, and a private security force of ex-military contractors armed with the best equipment money can't buy. Resistance will be heavy, but the Council Tower has several structural weaknesses we can exploit. The only thing stopping you from accessing the tower through the main lobby is sheer manpower. I'll expect a warm welcome. You'll have their undivided attention. I hope you're prepared for it. The executive suites have a private lift that will bypass most of the intervening levels. It'll require an access key used by senior staff. Also, unless you'd like to be trapped inside a lift shaft, you'll need to attack the tower's security center and disable their lift override controls. Solid plan, General. I've got it from here. Once those objectives have been completed, you should have a straight shot to the upper levels. And remember, you're to deliver Chairman Fane alive and intact. Dismissed. Wait, wait! Sir, they're dangerous. Don't know the half of it. They're also not Imperial soldiers. This is clearly a question of money, not loyalty. Am I right? Not loyalty. Principle. I always fulfill my contracts. Well, that helps your image. I understand, but competition is basic business. If your employer isn't concerned about keeping you, you'll always get lowballed. The private sector always needs good talent, and we'll pay you what you're worth. Why collect one paltry bounty when I can pay you a fortune in regular wages? I'm more the cash-in-hand type. No head for numbers. Sorry. You can't appreciate the opportunity you're throwing away. Show her the door. We can work this out. The Empire can have Corellia. I'll, I'll slip off world and, and retire somewhere in the colonies. Should have thought of that earlier. Let's go, Chairman. I can't stop you. I'll go quietly. You've obtained Chairman Fane. Good. We proceed on schedule. General, see to the bounty hunter's reward. Yes, my lord. Our next objective is to bring Corellia's beasts to heal. You will be the one to bring them. How do you plan for me to do that? The Corellians cohabit with a number of species. The most numerous and organized are the Salonians. The Republic needs to see the Salonians accede to the Empire. A representative must be acquired. I've never seen a Salonian. What am I looking for? Man-sized vermin with enough intelligence to fear us. They support the rebellion from Coronet City's interstitial maintenance corridors. One particularly tenacious animal leads packs of raiders to undermine our front lines. It will make as good an example as any. General Trow will brief you on the battle plan. When you have the creature, bring it to me in Axial Park. You'll have your Salonian soon. Trying to locate the Salonian raiders in the guts of Coronet City would be almost futile. Instead, you'll target an invaluable Salonian resource and force these raiders to defend it. What's important enough that they'd risk fighting on our terms? Salonians rely on a small breeding caste to reproduce. With their future at stake, the Salonians will have no choice but to act. Raid the Salonian warrens under Labor Valley Take your hostages, and hold them at these coordinates. What's so special about this section of tunnels? It's a dead end. They'll believe they have you cornered right up to the moment you cut off their only route of escape. These shock collars will keep the alien filth in line while you lead them to the ambush coordinates. When your objective is complete, report directly to Darth Tormen in Axial Park. Just follow the sound of destruction.
I hear you're quite the fighter. Let's settle this personally. Winner take all. You can't. They're only here to get your attention. You're not gonna die, but you'll beg. Anyone else feeling brave? I'm waiting. Looks like your people'd rather live. Sleep tight. Your representative, Darth Tormund. Impressive. For an animal. The trap is nearly set. All that remains is to capture the last figurehead of Corellia's old regime. Corellia's civil police force commissioner. Somehow Commissioner Carter survived the initial purge of dissenters before Prime Minister Falcone delivered Corellia to us. Did the assassination attempt spook him into hiding? Hardly. Since the purge, Commissioner Carter has rallied the rebellion. The public sees him as the last legitimate voice of the Corellian people. Carter and his Corsac officers are the backbone of the civilian resistance. Clobbering the local hero ought to take the fight out of them. Shattering the people's convictions will be all too easy. Corsac's old headquarters is now a formidable fortress. Our forces are laying siege to it as we speak. Their standing orders are to block off any escape. That is all. I won't be calling for backup. Contact me when Commissioner Carter is in custody. My troops will cover your exit. Well, look at you. Waltzing in here like you own the place. Come to finish what they started? Go on and kill me. You'll have a million citizens rioting in the streets by sundown. By sundown, a million citizens are gonna watch you shaking hands with the Empire. Over my dead body. Even if you slave drivers break me, you won't be fooling anyone. Corillians aren't as dumb as you seem to think. We've got our sights set a lot higher than your public. So that's your game. Shake up the core worlds. Get the Senate in a panic? I hear something. Keep this quick. The people you're working for, they aren't spice runners or thugs looking for a quick fortune. They're despots. Do this and you'll force billions of people to bow before the Sith. Is the Empire paying you enough to clear your conscience of that? Better they bow than continue getting caught in the crossfire. Well, aren't you just a darling? Thanks for the chat. Now I know that what I've been doing is making a difference. Hit him! Got me. Good for you. You want a medal? You and me, this battle, the war, not even a blink in the grand scheme of things. Corellia has been around a lot longer than the Sith's little upstart empire, and it'll be around long after the Empire falls. I've been to Terrace, Commissioner. The Empire knows how to make a lasting impression. They, they wouldn't go that far, would they? You really want to take that risk? Sleep on it. Tormund, the Commissioner is secure. Good. Our forces have control of the Corellian Legislature. Deliver Commissioner Carter to the Grand Assembly. Your reward will be waiting. Prepare the Commissioner for the surrender. My Lord! Your success is noted. When do I get the real prize, Tormund? 
soon. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Watch these rebels sign our enemy's death warrant. Might as well see this through. Supreme Chancellor Janaris, respected members of the Galactic Senate, the Corellian people have chosen. We will not continue to be held captive by a failed system. I ask, no, I demand that Supreme Chancellor Janaris ratify this treaty and acknowledge Corellia as a sovereign system of the Sith Empire. It was only a matter of time. As Prime Minister for Life, let me be the first to welcome you to Imperial Corellia, my lord. Had you delivered what you promised, you would enjoy a longer reign. If there's nothing else... Make yourself comfortable. The trap is set. Now, we wait. Darth Tormen desires your presence immediately. This way, please. A large Republic fleet has entered the system. It includes the founder, Supreme Chancellor Janaris' personal flagship. These reinforcements are attempting to consolidate at the Green Gardens. You know who leads them. Looks like your plan is working. June Serra seeks to urge Coronet City's Green Jedi out of their enclave and press the attack. When their forces are amassed, the Republic will attempt one last offensive. You have until then to wreak your vengeance. I'll keep my visit short. Dispose of Seras. Quietly. No one must know of his demise. Bring his effects to me. An intruder! Go. Do your part to liberate Corellia. This is a private matter. I take all the help you can get, Jedi. Indulging your grudge is wasteful enough. You know what's required of you. Go. As you wish. May the Force be with you. You're persistent. Stubborn. I suppose that's why you excel at what you do, but the price is high. What won't a Mandalorian put aside for pride? I'd meet death head on for a comrade. But would you kneel? You chose to murder Kelly and Jarl, just like you chose to kill everyone sent to bring you to justice. You could have surrendered at any time. You chose to become a murderer and terrorist. I only turned all that senseless destruction toward a righteous purpose. Killing my associates and slinging mud. Real noble. They made their decision, just like you made yours. If using you to expose the Sith's true face has dirtied my hands, so be it. It's time to answer for your crimes. You read my mind. I won't be the one after all. Now whose pride's getting them into trouble? Savor your vengeance. It's a small victory. You've denied me nothing here. 
In failure, I've undone all your accomplishments. In death, I return to the Force. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Your life's only the first thing I'm going to take from you. See, my next stop is the Supreme Chancellor. The Sith want his head, and you just delivered it right to me. You! Shh. It's over. Thanks for playing. No. Pathetic. I did not see Saros. You were successful? I didn't have any difficulty dispatching my Jedi. Only Jedi would call something this fragile Battlemaster. Battlemaster some sort of special honor? Before our return, Jun Saros taught all Jedi the art of conflict. His death is a crippling blow to the Jedi Order. And without Jun Saros at his side, the Supreme Chancellor is exposed. Victory is close. Don't leave me hanging. It's encoded with June Seros's bioscan. Once the encryption is broken, we will know this data's true value. I didn't come this far to let the big catch get away. I will have the Supreme Chancellor's head. My subordinates will transmit the relevant data to your vessel when it's prepared. Until then, make yourself useful to Darth Decimus. The battle for Corellia is not yet decided. The Jedi are broken. The Republic forces are in disarray. Now is the time to strike. You will depart Corellia. Make for the Founder, the Supreme Chancellor's flagship, immediately. The Founder's landing codes will give the Republic fleet little reason to fire upon you. Somehow I'm not reassured. The fate of this operation will not be left to the landing codes alone. Captain Horn has prepared an SOS signal using the Republic's ciphers. When you leave the spaceport, you will be pursued by our ships. Republic will allow you to board, or they risk allowing one of their own to die. We will give them no time for doubt. Should make a good anecdote for the next time I see Mandalore. Do not hesitate to dispatch your pursuers if they become troublesome. You will reach the Founder by any means necessary. Once on board, your first priority will be to destroy all crafts in the adjacent hangars, to prevent the Supreme Chancellor from escaping. Improvised demolition is one of my specialties. With no means of escape, only the Supreme Guard will stand between you and your prey. Time to see if the Supreme Guard live up to their name. I will await you on the Tyrant. The Supreme Chancellor's fate is sealed. So many people willing to lay down their lives for me. It should never have come to this. There's something I want to tell you, before you do what you came to do. Don't beg, Chancellor. It's unbecoming. Just bear with me. Consider it a last request, if that means anything. I reviewed the report surrounding the operation to apprehend you. It's atrocious. A monumental abuse of power. I don't condone what you were doing, but I understand it. It was just your job. June made it personal. 
You expect me to believe you had nothing to do with this? I watched you condemn me, live, on the Holonet. I authorized the operation to bring you to justice. But what June did was beyond his authority. I've already declassified the real details of yours and June's actions to the public. The fallout will be tremendous. No matter how our meeting concludes, I'll be removed from office. Hoping to get fired before I can claim my bounty? This isn't about me. It's about the truth. A Republic cannot be based on deception, especially on matters of war. The false accusations will disappear as the truth is separated from the lies. It's not a clean slate, but it's what you deserve. I'm willing to take things a step further, if you're willing to work with me. Give me a reason to believe anything you've said. The reports are right here. Take a look for yourself. Keep them. Whatever will allay your suspicion. My offer is immunity for your past crimes. The real ones. If you're willing to show me you're not firmly in the Empire's pocket. June believed you were in league with a Sith named Tormen. Is that true? Tormen sent me to collect your head. I feared as much. He's using us to make his mark. Tormund's a monster. His troops have been butchering Corellians. On Raban, he flattened kilometers of homes, businesses, hospitals. A man like that can't be given more power. Let's fix this while we're in a position to do so. The Chancellor wants to make a liar out of you. He could throw offers at me until the Treasury ran dry. Today, I'd rather make history. Thanks for clearing up my record. You really shouldn't have. One for the records. I've got your head, Tormund. Good. Make for the tyrant. The fleet will cover your escape. Is the ruler of the Republic, a ruined old man trampled at my feet. Today we have shaken the galaxy to the core. All will know our names and tremble. Relish it. There will be other victories, but none this sweet. Nothing glorious about slapping around an old man. Don't care how important he is. The Republic empowers weakness. Crushing it is necessity, if not glory. You're a valuable asset. Perhaps my most valuable. I will make good use of your talents when I take my place among the Dark Council. Killing June Saros and the Supreme Chancellor was a matter of honor. From here on, handle your own dirty work. I am my own woman, Tormund. You may regret those words, Mandalorian. <laughs>